Friends, this video is a little different. Before starting this video, I want to say a warning. This warning indicates that the chemicals and the things used in this video are 100% real. Do not try this experiment at home at all. Now, let's begin with the main part. Hi guys, today I am going to show you neutralization reaction and phenolphthalein indicator. So, for this, I am going to take two chemicals. One is hydrochloric acid. Other is sodium hydroxide. So, in the first one, I am going to put some hydrochloric acid. Yeah. And so, in the other one, we are going to put some sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Yeah. So I have put equal quantities of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Now I am confused which one is an acid and which one is a base. So for this I have here two indicators. One is methyl orange indicator and the other one is phenolphthalein indicator. So First of all, we'll check it with the phenolphthalein indicator. But what is an indicator? An indicator is a substance which determines whether the following chemical or substance which we are using is either acidic or basic in nature by different color changes. So, let's see what is the change in the first test tube with phenolphthalein indicator. So, here... I pour this but here there is no color change but why because it has acidic properties there is no color change over here let me show it to you by a little bit detail here you can see no color change it means it is acidic in nature now let's try the other solution now other solution might be basic in nature. So, as we see that it changes to pink color. So, let me show it to you in a little bit detail. See, this changes to pink color. Now, what we are going to do is, now, what happens in neutralization is, when acids and bases react with each other, they form sodium chloride and neutral solution or distilled water or normal water. So, here we go. stirring it a little bit well and we see that the color has changed to colorless. Why? Because neutralization has taken place. Now what happens in neutralization is that an acid and a base neutralize effect of each other. Now I want to have an intense keen of knowing that which solution is more in it. So for this I can check it with the help of methyl orange indicator so what i am going to do is first of all methyl orange is a bright orange colored d y e or dye which is a synthetic indicator so now let's see which is more amount of so So here, the color has changed to red, which means that the amount of acids present in it 
or more. Now I would like to show what will be the color of a base when a methyl orange indicator is applied to it. So first of all I will put a base in it. Yeah. Although it's appearing a little pink, but let's see what will be the effect of it. See, what happened was that this changed to yellow in color. If you see, <coughs> then the difference of color is a little bit lighter. This one is a little bit lighter and this one is a little bit darker, which indicates that this is basic and this is acidic in nature. So, this was our activity of uh, different acids and their neutralization. So, here. Okay. But a question arises that why don't we use phenolphthalein indicator in neutralization? So, your answer is over here. When I mix it into it. nothing basically happens the color remains the same so therefore phenolphthalein indicator is usually not used in neutralization as it does not specify certain conditions which uh, phenolphthalein indicator uh, specifies and completes for neutralization so that's all for today's video and before this I would again like to warn you that do not try this at home and these chemicals which are used over here are 200% real. Thank you all. Bye bye. Take care.